Good morning, students. Welcome back to Signals and System online video lecture series. From the previous classes, we have been uh, discussing the various types of systems. So far, we have studied the three types of systems: analog and digital system, static and dynamic system, causal and non-causal system. Three types of systems we have discussed. In this class, I am going to talk about another important type of system that is called linear system and non-linear system. Based on the various properties of the systems, we know that systems may be classified into the various categories like analog digital, causal non-causal, time invariant and time variant, linear and non-linear. Are lumped and distributed. Likewise, we have the various types of systems. In which I am going to discuss now that is a linear system. The definition of the linear system is very simple. If a system satisfies the property or principle of homogeneity and the superposition, then that system is called as a linear system. Otherwise, it is a non-linear system. Here we have to know what is the homogeneity and what is the superposition. Definition of the linear system is clear that if a system satisfies the homogeneity and the superposition, then that system is called a linear system. Otherwise, it is non-linear. In the exam, we can get the questions for the ten marks by giving one system equation. We should verify whether that given system is causal, non-causal, static, or a dynamic, and the linear or non-linear. For the ten marks, we we can be asked for this type of questions. So, a system which satisfies the homogeneity and the superposition is called the linear system. Then homogeneity. For example, I'm going with the first equation that is. I have the x1 of t that is the input as given to the one of the system whose output we got that is y1 of t. x1 of t is the input of a system, and after processing, it has given the output is y1 of t. And again, I am having the another input that is x2 of t for the same system. I am giving the input is x2 of t. For that, it has produced the output is y2 of t. If a system input is x1 of t, then the output is y1 of t. If the system input is x2 of t, output is y2 of t. If that satisfies this condition, that is called homogeneity. So we have uh, uh, discussed this is with respect to the continuous time. If you go with the discrete time, here also the same. If the input of a system is x1 of n, then the output will be y1 of n. Then, if a system satisfies these conditions, then that is called as homogeneity. Then, next one is superposition. That means what? We are individually having the two inputs, that is x1 of t and x2 of t. Now, I am adding that x1 of t and x2 of t by multiplying them with some coefficient values a and b or constant values a and b. Now, the input is what? Input is a x1 of t. If the input of a system is a x one of t, output will be a y one of t. We know this one. If the input of a system is b x two of t, then the output will be b into y two of t. So that now at a time I am giving the input that is a x one of t plus b x two of t. In that case, if the system produces the output a into y one of t plus b into y two of t, if this satisfies by a system. That means it is satisfying the both homogeneity and the superposition. If a system satisfies the homogeneity and superposition, then that is named that is it is linear system. So I am going to explain in detail with the more description now. This is the definition of a system. A system which obeys the principle of superposition and the principle of homogeneity is called the linear system. 
and a system which does not obey the principle of superpositions and the principle of homogeneity is called the non-linear system just now we discussed so what is homogeneity what is superposition just now i have explained anyway i'm going to repeat the same now a system which produces the output y of t for an input is x of t must produce an output a into y1 of t for an input is a into x1 of t this is a system we have the system this is is if the system input is x x of t then the output is y of t then i am giving the input that is a into x of t earlier input is x of t now i am multiplying that is with the one value that is constant e then if i get the same at the output side also that is a into y of t then that system is named as homogeneity it is satisfying the homogeneity condition then if i change this input is x2 of t then this will be y2 of t this is if i am going with the b into x2 of t then the output will be b into y2 of t then now at a time we will be giving the both the inputs at a time for the superposition theorem a system which produces the y1 of t for an input is x1 of t and y2 of t for the input is x2 of t must produces the output y1 of t plus y2 of t for the input is x1 of t plus x2 of t earlier cases with the two different inputs we have verified the two different outputs now we have combined those those two inputs and we will be giving the at a time input so that output will be the sum of the individual outputs so, so that is about the superposition theorem now we are going to discuss the various types of problems see this one this is a system for which we have given the input is x1 of t output is y1 of t next I am changing the input is x2 of t, then the output will be y, y2 of t. For the same system, I am giving the x1 of t plus x2 of t. In such cases, if the output is if the output is y1 of t plus y2 of t, then that system is named as it is satisfying the condition of superposition theorem. So combining above them, we can say that a system is a linear. If an arbitrary input x1 of t produces the y1 of t and arbitrary input x2 of t produces the y2 of t, then weighted sum of inputs, weighted sum of inputs that is a into x1 of t plus b into y2 of t produces the output is a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t, which is the weighted sum of output that is a and b are constant just now we discussed. So if a system satisfies these conditions, then that is named as it is a linear system otherwise it is a non-linear simple thing we have to verify we have to verify the superposition and the superposition and the homogeneity to test the system whether it is a, a linear or non-linear then we are going to see some of the problems now see this one first problem Check whether the following systems are linear or not. Check the following systems are linear or not. Now we have the output is y of t for the input is x of t. y of t is equals to we got t into x of t. Then I am going to have the various uh, outputs now. y1 of t is equals to y1 of t is equals to transfer function applied on x1 of t is equals to we got t into x1 of t. Then if I wanted to go for the another output that is y2 of t is equals to y2 of t is due to the x2 of t and which the we have applied the transfer function t which is nothing but t into x2 of t. Now we have to multiply with the a and b, a and b are the constant. So hence linear combination output becomes then I am going with the multiplication of a here and multiplication of b that is a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t is equals to a t plus x1 of t a transfer function applied on x1 of t plus b into transfer function applied on x2 of t a into transfer function applied on x1 of t is nothing but this one only. b into transfer function applied on uh, uh, x2 that will be so, so that we have proved that the weighted sum of input is equals to weighted sum of output so that the given equation given system is a linear system.
So anyway, we are going to solve the many problems so that uh, all the doubts are going to be uh, clear now. See this one. Y of t is equals to x square of t. We have y of t is equals to x square of t. So that what I am doing, y1 of t is nothing but y1 of t. That is the first output for the system. That is y1 of t is nothing but transfer function applied on x1 of t, which is nothing but x1 square of t. That is given in the problem. Then y2 of t is equals to transfer function applied on x1 of t is equals to x2 square of t. Then we have to apply the linear combinations of output followed by the input so that then take the a into y of t plus b into y2 of t. This is y1 of t. a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t is equals to a. y1 of t is nothing but what? It is a transfer function applied on x1 of t. This is plus b. b is remains same and y2 of t is nothing but transfer function applied on this one. So that what we got now? a into transfer function applied on this uh, input x1 of t then that will be x1 of square t plus b into x square this is one thing that is what a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t is equals to we got this one. then i am going to assume y3 is equals to y3 is equals to a into x1 of square t plus b into x square t then responses to the linear combination now I am assuming the input. Now I am assuming why the output response uh, to the linear combination of input that is transfer function applied on a into x1 of t into b into x2 of t. Then now this complete is nothing but it is a x1 of t. Transfer function applied on x1 of t is nothing but it is x square of t. So that this is total a square so that it is accepted so that it will be the total square then we have to go with this condition so that if you expand this is a plus b whole square in the form so that it is not going to equal y3 is equals to y3 is not equals to y3 bar so that it is not non-linear system non-linear system so here also whenever if you are uh, if we have the system described in the differential equation form we have to go with the that is uh, weighted sum of inputs is equals to weighted sum of outputs most of the cases most of the cases when the system is described with the differential equations we can get the system is a linear equation or linear system only but anyway whatever the procedure just now we followed all the things has to be followed by the same to verify the whether given system is linear or non-linear then i am going with the another problem to describe the linear system at the non-linear system see this one y of t is equals to 2 x square of t y of t is equals to 2 x square t y1 of t is equals to 2 into x1 of square t y2 of to this one so that I have multiplied with the a and so that I got a b and this one I'm adding both of them to have the weighted sum of outputs is equals to I require to get the weighted sum of inputs but these two are not equal so that it is a non-linear likewise we can test the any system for its uh, linearity thank you students